Hey YouTube, people at 10 back here. Uh, it's the first video I'm recording on my laptop that I bought yesterday. Uh, for those who didn't know, I'm taking a whole different turn with my YouTube channel. I'm probably done making videos for uh, Madden. It's like my video doesn't seem so clear. It's like the screen like area around it's like all fuzzy and looks all staticky and everything. I don't know what it is. Someone said um possibly the uh plastic over the camera and I don't see anything I can peel off. So I don't know, maybe just the laptop and the camera is not that great. Um, yeah. What I want to start doing with my channel is um, oh, hold up. I want to start doing my channel is some sports commentary about my two favorite teams, the Dallas Cowboys and uh, the Ohio State Buckeyes. And just the simple, you know, commentary preview about what's to come for each team. Um, Dallas is playing the Philadelphia Eagles later on ten, uh, tonight. Basically, I believe it's at four, four thirty something. Um, I will be working, so that kind of sucks. But hopefully, I know the game will probably still be on by the time I get out of work. So hopefully, I don't get any bad news. And Ohio State's playing that team up north this week. Uh, final game of the regular season. They win. It'll be 11 and 1. We need help to get in the top four to make the playoff. First college football playoffs. So, talk about that later on. But today, solely for the Dallas Cowboys. Um, yeah, I don't like the Eagles. I don't like anybody in the uh, NFC East. Um, this game today is going to basically determine a lot for this, the rest of the season. Um, we already lost to the Redskins, so that's one loss. We swept the Giants. Now we need to come and sweep the Eagles and hopefully beat the Redskins on the final week. But yes, today, Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody, by the way. Uh, but yeah, things that we need to do, we get to the worst part of Dallas uh, afterwards but on offense of course Romo has to show up uh, he cannot come out and play like he did in the first week against San Fran throwing the stupidest passes stupidest pick um, hopefully his back is a lot better um, don't know the Eagles defense that much. I know for one thing, their secondary is not that great outside of free safety Malcolm Jenkins. Uh former Buckeye. Shout out to him. Uh so yeah. Besides him, their corners suck. Strong safety sucks. I believe it's Nate Allen. He's trash. Corners Kerry Williams and probably Bradley Fletcher. 
I don't know who the other corner is. Uh, Brandon Boykins placed Nickelback, I believe. I mean, we still got to watch out for them, but I mean, they're going up against a uh, top three wide receiver in Dez Bryant. Not being biased, I honestly feel he's a top three wide receiver. Terrence Williams is getting up there. Uh, so I believe Des Bryant could take Kerry Williams and see what happens with uh, Ter uh, Terrence Williams. I believe he didn't show up uh, in the Giants game. I believe he caught a pass or two. I don't know, but hopefully he gets it together. Um, yeah, that's Romo. Don't screw up. Find your receivers quick. No stupid passes. <laughs> Offensive line, we have one of the best offensive lines um, in the league. Uh, Tyron Smith, top tier left tackle. Probably our worst lineman is probably still Doug Free. Sorry, I just think it's Doug Free. I assume we really got rid of him a long time ago all the penalties he used to get but I don't know he's playing okay for now I guess uh, Zach Martin the rookie he's playing good um, hold on Only a rookie, but he's playing pretty good football, getting those blocks. We got three first round uh, linemen on that line. Uh, Travis Frederick, center, Tyron Smith, and Zach Martin. Ronald Larry is our left guard, and he's doing okay, I guess. But uh, offensive line, all you gotta do is Block for Romo. Make sure them pass rushers don't get in. Um, which I'm assuming the Eagles' defensive line is not better than the Giants' D line and pass rushers. I'm not sure, but uh, yes, protect Romo and protect this beast, uh, Demarco Murray. Um, yeah, he's a, he's a beast. Outside of fumbling, which he hasn't been doing lately, thank God. He's he's a beast. He I like the way he his hesitation. He waits a little bit, reads his blocks, makes his cuts, and then tries to take off. Um, thing he's lacking, I believe he's lacking some speed. I feel like. He could be a little faster, but as a whole, he's pretty good running back. Um, but yeah, block offensive line, block for Murray, block for Romo, give him the time to throw it to the receivers. Uh, Jason Witten. Most likely a Hall of Fame tight end in the future. Uh, I believe he has the second most reception for a tight end, right behind Tony G. So that's I think that's kind of a good accomplishment. Uh, one of the best uh, tight ends for Dallas, probably the best. Um, well, like people like to call him the slowest, but always gets open. This is probably true. He's pretty slow. 
but he's reliable, and that's what you need in a tight end. Get open somehow, catch the ball, get your yardage. Boom. That's what we need. Um, hopefully he scores a touchdown or two because I have him on my fantasy team. But all in all, what matters most is that we get this W. Uh, we got to watch out for... The only person we got to watch out for on the Eagles is probably Connor Barwin. Big dude. He, uh, decent pass rusher. Athletic. Just watch out for him rushing. He's probably going to be rushing from the right side. I believe he plays left outside linebacker. So, Okay. Dallas is... Defense. The worst part of our team is that defense. Everyone knows it. It's like they're bipolar. They come to show up one game, one quarter. They don't show up the next. Keep going back and forth, and it pisses me off, honestly. Our D line is not the same anymore. Um. Henry Melton's having a pretty good year, I think. Uh, look, we could see a lot more from Crawford, Mency. Where's Demarcus Lawrence? I think he did had a tackle or something last week, but he's supposed to be the replacement for Demarcus Ware. But that'll probably never happen because Demarcus Ware is probably our best pass rusher of all time. But yeah, our D-line's not the greatest. We don't get sacks. Um, linebackers. Outside linebackers. We don't have much. Outside of Bruce Carter. If he stops getting hurt. He's a great, great linebacker. Great cover linebacker. He's quick. Um, I haven't seen much pressure from these linebackers getting to the quarterback. Um, of course, we're missing our best linebacker. And Sean Lee, I honestly feel like he's the best cover linebacker. Probably the best cover linebacker in the league when healthy. He gets his picks. He's really good in coverage. Rolando McClain is doing a great job. Of replacing Lee. Uh, when Lee comes back, and if we sign McLean back, it should switch him to outside linebacker. He looks more like a pass rusher than a line, a cover linebacker. Um, we'll see what will happen there. We're really missing Sean Lee right now. Okay, the worst part of this defense has to be the secondary. Just like Eagles, our secondary sucks also. Is our secondary better than the Eagles? I I really don't know, honestly. Brandon Carr. He's not worth all that money we gave him. Based solely based off that catch he let ODB get last week, holding him and everything that shows me, he's, I don't know, he's not our best corner. Our best corner is Orlando Orlando Scandrick, Orlando Scandrick, sorry. Um, Orlando he. He has his days too. Um, he, he couldn't play ODB also. He's fast. We all know Orlando Skandrick is fast, but he's got to start playing better coverage. Start, got to start getting picks. Everybody on our defense, secondary, got to start getting picks. Play better coverage. <laughs>
I'm not even going to talk about Morris Claiborne. He's already a bust in probably everybody's eyes. Um, and probably try and trade him. I don't want him back on a team. He hasn't done anything. And Sterling Moore, that dude pisses me off also. Like when we were starting him on outside, I didn't see him do anything good. I think he was playing the slot last week. But, um, yeah, safeties, they don't do anything. Besides Barry Church, he got a pick last week. He's our best safety. Everybody else blows. I just hope they show up today. They watch Mark Sanchez. <coughs> Sorry about that. You keep your eyes on Mark Sanchez and those receivers. You don't let Macklin, Cooper, and the rookie Jordan Matthews is showing up now. You got to lock them down. I know you guys won't because you play terrible defense half of the time. It it pisses me off. Your defense wants to show up one second and not show up the next. Brandon Carr, Skandrick, which I want to use is playing Macklin. Watch him. If not Macklin, you watch Jordan Matthews because he's on the rise. Do not let him be the second rookie in that division that you let have a big game. Please, not Jordan Matthew. Um, Mark Sanchez, not better than Nick Foles. We need to stop Sanchez, make him look like the Sanchez of the Jets when he got the buck fumble. Let's make another buck fumble happen somehow. Um, Dallas's run defense, I believe, is not the greatest, and Eagles have one of the best line uh, running backs in the league, in LaShawn McCoy, and we have to stop him, of course. He's fast, probably one of the best, probably the most elusive running back in the league. He cuts on a dime. He just has crazy, crazy skills, crazy elusiveness. It's like a video game. Oh, yeah. Barry Sanders. Look like wannabe. If we can stop him, stop the pass game a little bit, we should be able to beat these Eagles. But um, all in all, if you want my honest opinion? I think some way, somehow, Dallas will screw this game up and lose to the Eagles. That's how I honestly feel. I feel like this game, obviously it's a divisional game, and those are always hard. <laughs> the Eagles are way better than the Giants, and we had to come back to beat the Giants last week. Of course, we have a chance at winning, but in the end, I feel like Dallas will lose. You know, I'm being negative, but I know this team. We won't let the Eagles sweep us, though. We will beat them at least once and take this, uh, take the NFC East. But um, if I had to come up with a score, I would say Eagles. 27 Dallas hmm. Dallas 21 20 to set 27 21 Eagles hopefully I'm wrong but uh just my first football preview for Dallas Cowboys versus
the Philadelphia Eagles on Thanksgiving. I've gone long enough in this video. But uh, sorry about that. Next video will not be this long. I'll make sure of it. But uh, like, comment, um, rate the video. If you feel like I should talk more about these Dallas Cowboys and Ohio State Buckeyes later on. Uh, we'll be talking about other subjects also. Um, I want to make a video about the quarterback situation in Ohio State for next year with uh, JT Barrett, Braxton Miller. Get more, talk more into that. Where, who I think is the better quarterback? Who should be the starting quarterback next season? So uh, stay tuned. Um, if you like, would appreciate it if you subscribe. Till next time, peace.